Russell. Okay. Okay. Hello. Hello, everybody. And mom, dad, don't expect me to dress like this all the time. I'm making one make, exception. Make sure you're talking to the mic, Russell. So oh, right. I'm making <laughs> one exception. Ordinarily, this is caused a lot of discomfort, but there are only three of us crammed this room. Nick's girlfriend is with us. And there are a few of us crammed this room. I can get a little subconscious when people are noticing, but I thought I'd just give Nick some playful fun about, you know, the jeans he's wearing, the hair, but not in a rude way. We love Nick. We love, love, love Nick. And I prepare, and I help prepare a program that's maybe not what Nick's used to performing. It's definitely new. Yeah, I I should value older music more. I know, and we do have Blackbird in the in the stuff. We had to edit some things out. I had a long list, but some things were pretty easy since some li- some lyrics and some pe- a person did not show up. But it's totally fine. And we cut one of the the cover uh, originals because there was no time to learn it. I am not sure I'm going to be able to do this well, but we practiced, and here goes nothing. And pardon me, last of all, because. I had post nasal drip. That just means you got a stuffy nose and it drips down their throat. Okay, enough said. Too much information. So, Russell, when was the last time you performed these songs? Any of these songs whatsoever. Most of these are like I've never performed them before. But King Me, for example, and Chasing Cars. It was in Battle of the Bands, clear back in high school. It was a decade ago. I'm actually, believe it or not, I'm older than I look, and I'm actually. 27 years old I was in Battle of the Bands when I performed King Me and Chasing Cars and this is honestly to goodness the best thing that has ever happened since getting my band back together with regard to music in the pop area although I have arranged choral music and such and this is sort of how I met Nick in our songwriting class and actually I don't play the piano at Primary Children's like the intro said it's actually at the U Hospital at least when there's no oh, COVID I thought it was Primary Children's yeah it's easy mistake I was also the primary <laughs> pianist for six years and seven months and as Nick said I have a functioning autism <laughs> I'm probably not going to dress like this next time I think that you should I think that you should always dress like this <sighs> it looks good you look great I'm just not going to I'm. and I've never seen your hair spiked up like that it looks really cool Russell, yeah, Russell and I met in a class that we took together, and he wrote an arrangement of, uh, man, I can't remember, how, how can I keep from singing? Yeah, and Bryn, sure, and Bryn, who's been on this show at uh-huh. least twice, did an excellent job with the violin part. If it weren't for that, my song would not be as good as it w- is. It was incredible. It was so good. Um, and Russell's a really gifted musician, so... I, I knew that I wanted to do a concert. And them. again, newsflash, when there's a large group of people, when there are more than three people in a room, don't expect me to dress like this. I've been <laughs> through this with Brian. <sighs> just uh, this once. Okay. It just caused some sensory discomfort. I won't go into the more details. Anyway, whew, let's get started. Wow. You ready? Yep. I think that um, we should do, I think our first song should be King Me. How do you feel about that? Perfectly fine. I'm just going to pull up my words. Sorry, gonna, I need to cheat. <laughs> I need to cheat, too. <laughs> yeah. Both need yep. to cheat. So this song was actually written in high school. See, back in high school, there was a I reorganized a band. Where, this was clear back when I was in high school. So a couple, there was a, they called themselves Element 88. There was a piano player, a guitarist who may not have seemed as good to some people, a, a guitarist who did most of the electric stuff, and a drummer. So one day the drummer and the and the electric guitarists got together and they decided they were going to kick the other two members out of the band because they weren't good enough is what i is what i've heard and so they kicked them out and they and they because and they they kicked the piano player out because they didn't feel they needed a piano they kicked the other guitarist out because oh he's not good enough they were thinking so they started a new band and they called it zypher it's, it could would have been a cool spelling with the next but it's z y p h e r so they had another drummer and more guitarists well the of the original members of the band the electric guitarist and the drummer they kicked the drummer out of the band because they already had a drummer so i took the broken pieces of that band and with my, with some vocal and writing and a tad bit of piano playing i got the band together and we were competed in battle of bands against zypher although i helped them zypher tune their guitar there was no rivalry anyway kink we took fourth place out of four bands but we did get the encore but nick 
but this is for those who have heard King Me. This is King Me as you've never heard it before, and yeah, no one's heard King Me like this before. Even if you're a member of Battle of the Bands, and even if you're in L you've been in Element 88 before, I should compliment one of my two band members that were in this. One is living in Washington; they're getting ready for the second child if they don't have them yet, and the other they ha they had their new baby, and they're living in he and his wife were living in Layton, and they've got their new baby. Okay. I don't have my glasses with me, so here it goes. Don't expect any dress like this all the time. Okay, let me scroll down here. No further ado. Look at me singing. Hit a wrong note. Look at me dancing with bullies at my throat. Look at me yelling inaudible words to try to make you understand Yet you don't think I'm popular Well now I've got a band So, King Me, King Me I'm king of the world, you know King Me, King Me I'm the king of the checkerboard King Me, King Me I'm the king of the world, you know King me, king me, and surely I will make you queen. Look into your eyes one night, do not know what to say. Wake up and it's only a dream, but it will be real someday. All black and red checkers, shudder before me when I break down on the checkerboard as if to say, King me, King me, I'm King of the world, you know. King me, King me, I'm the King of the checkerboard. King me, King me, I'm the king of the world, you know. King me, King me, and surely I will make you queen. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, thought maybe things would turn around. You graduate from high school. And friend, I only had two more years to go Though maybe I seem so smart I rock out on the stage And live a double of the checkerboard King me King me King me I'm the king of the checkerboard King me King me Yes I rule the chessboard too King me King me I'm the king of the world you know King me King me And surely I'll soon see you King me, king me, I'm the king of the checkerboard. King me, king me, yes, I rule the chessboard too. King me, king me, I'm king of the world, you know. King me, king me, and surely I'll soon see you. Girl, I will make you queen. <laughs> okay, I admit I am not the best person at singing this, but Nick kind of talked me into singing more of these than I had originally planned. So I apologize if my singing voice sounds confident, but really terrible. <laughs> and again, I'm not keeping up with the times. My family will know what this reference is, but no matter. Just don't expect this all the time. It causes comfort. Okay, enough. So, 
Nick is do, did a fantastic job. The original King Me didn't sound so exciting, but I couldn't imagine King Me without the original guy who performed this this with me, who helped fix the lyrics. The original lyrics to King Me went went in the second verse. You think I can solve a differential equation in only 18 seconds? I'm fond of math. And finally, if when somebody <laughs> in my band, the drummer who was in the other band, said, "You know, let's fix this." Most people don't even know what that is. And he wrote a couple. He wrote another song that we'll be performing in this, but it was a decade ago. He doesn't remember writing it, and I just reconstructed the lyrics. It was out. It was about somebody real at one point, but we don't remember who anymore. So it's not important anymore. It's kind of an in-your-face part rat, part sung. Should we do that one next? I think that we should. Um, yeah, we should do that one next. Sorry if I'm going out of order. Uh, we didn't have an order. We're making so the, it up as we go. This drum, the guy who played drums, he went on to perform in other bands, and he it, he was playing piano man. He was playing the accordion, and he was playing the harmonica at the same time. He got a lot better. He got tons better. I mean, not that he wasn't already good, but he just got millions of times better. And he helped make that happen. So there are two of these guys that I have to thank. That was then, and this is now, of course. Times do change. So, Russell, I just looked at the chat, and my mom is watching from Iceland. From Iceland? She's, always, she's all the way in Iceland. And what is she doing there? She's on vacation. Uh, what would you do in Iceland on vacation? Uh, I don't know, actually. Well, no matter. It's, go, it's, 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 gonna be a, it's gonna be an icy cold fun. <laughs> it's gonna be chilling fun. Chilling fun, indeed. Okay. Uh, should we do Alone in the Crowd? Oh, yeah. Now, this is this is the one I said my dr- the drummer in the band wrote. Back when we were performing Battle of Bands, he hoped that maybe, at the time, Element 88 would go on to perform for other things. That didn't quite happen. Plans would change, but... And he, and he, and he was right. Element 88 was too square. He doesn't remember saying this now. But he is was, he's still, to this day, a really good friend of mine. But I reconstructed the lyrics, and I was really... This is really in your face, part rap, part sung song, song, song. So I'm gonna go to the top. Okay. And I rewrote the words the last minute. I remember long ago we were young and in love. I hoped one day we would see a white dove. Telling us now it was time to be together forever. Now I know what you meant when you said I know your family friends are redder than red Now I never have to see them again If you want to have me I just figured out I'm alone in the crowd And I don't need you And I just realized That it wasn't me said he loved me, but really loved him. I didn't realize things were that grim. He cheated on me behind my back. Can you dare blame me for that? I thought it was my fault, but I heard you say, find all the working while you always play. But you all along were playing me. I was too busy working. I just feel Girl, this song is to show That I now know that I was too slow Even though a four never wanted to know Yeah, you said it was my fault So don't come back and say you were wrong We've been through this before and it took me too long Do you realize you never mean what you say? And girl, it's over I just figured out I'm alone in the crowd And I don't So 
song about your frog to hear. Now here it is, and let's be clear that you were the girl who cheated on me, and I have moved on. This is me excited to be done with you, and yes, my friends and family are happy too. Get ready, girl, you will finally hear the last line of this song. This song is celebrating us being done. It's over, girl, you've had your fun. And this is the very last line of my song. It's goodbye for ever. Ah. Well, that is definitely an in-your-face kind of thing that you won't want a song written about. But luckily, it wasn't written about anybody in particular. It was just an old song that I reused. Yeah, I wouldn't want that song written about me either. Yeah. Hey, Russell, I think... Yeah. I, I rewrote so, it. It was written by my, the drummer in the band way back when, but I rewrote constructed the lyrics, and I don't even know how the original went, neither did, does he. I hope I didn't embarrass the poor guy. <laughs> yeah. So those first two songs were called King Me and Alone in the Crowd, which are Russell Hathaway original tunes. Uh, and I think that you should do well, one of the, well, well, it wasn't a Russell Hathaway original tune. The second one wasn't. The second one wasn't. It was a Russell Hathaway Wait. rewrite. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, so I think I've never you, performed how do you it before. feel about playing one of your piano solos? Oh, not bad at all. I mean, I don't want to toot my own horn. It's just that I don't like reading music. Although, let, let me say it differently. It's not that I don't like reading music. It's just something I don't do as much of. But I do it. I mean, it's important to read music from a page of taking up the organ at church. But one of my secret vices that's not so secret is I definitely enjoy playing my own piano stuff. Let's see if this works. Okay, good. I like playing me on piano stuff. This will sound repetitious. I haven't quite given it an official name, but 
I'll call it the heart of Provo. It's a long story, and there's no time to tell it. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's a great name. Heart of Provo. So we've got we've got some people watching. We've got people from Texas oh. watching. Whole family. Uh, my bishop and his family are watching from Texas. They're vacationing. And then, um, I well, his my bishop's kids live in Texas. Oh, cool. His kid and his son-in-law. <laughs> That's where my brother serves his yeah. mission. And we're gonna hear some missionary songs in this performance. Yeah. Uh, your dad is also watching, it seems. Uh, yeah. So and dad, don't expect me to dress like this more often. This is just an exception I'm making because I'm poking fun at Nick Quilter, you know, playful fun. He had, and to, ordinarily don't he had to provide some contrast to the holes in my Exactly. Team. Well, no, no, don't put yourself down, Nick Quilter. You're fun. I just, we just need the yin and yang thing. I like the yin and yang thing. I think that's that's good. Uh, okay, I think, what about, what if we do um, one of our cover songs? Cool. Do you, would you rather do Hallelujah or Blackbird? Let's start with Hallelujah. Okay. No, let's start with Blackbird, actually. Oh, okay. We'll do Blackbird. We'll save Hallelujah for later. Uh, okay, let's change this. I'm worried I'm going to biff this, but I'm going to do the very... Very, very best I can. It's okay. Oh, wait. Oh, there we go. Yeah, that's the sound I'm looking for. Yeah, it actually goes with this song. You'll find out. But you gotta you gotta wait and listen. Oh, yeah, totally. I'm not gonna give anything more away. No more secrets, Russell. Can't yeah, give I was away, thinking can't the same thing. Can't give away our secrets. I was thinking the same thing. Okay. Blackbird singing in the dead of night Open up your wings and learn to fly All your life You were only waiting for this moment to arrive You were gonna sing. I forgot about that until right now. Blackbird, yep. Blackbird singing in the dead of night Take these sunken eyes and learn to see all your life. You were only waiting for this moment to be free. Hathaway yep. arrangement and of this, the classic Beatles song. Yep, and this is a 1980-some keyboard. It's old, believe it or not. <laughs> it is very old, and it's very heavy. Oh, no kidding. As I learned, it's, yeah, I, that's, I don't and, think I could carry that. And the amp is underneath it. Also very heavy. Uh, <laughs> the amp is underneath it. Okay, um, should we do, should we do Hallelujah? Oh, yeah, totally. Okay. You'll be singing that one. I'm going to sing this one, yeah. <laughs> Sorry I mixed that one up, the last one. Oh, wrong, wrong one. <laughs>
I'm, yeah, I feel you, man. I'm getting cramped. <laughs> and I am done with some of this. I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> no, you're good, man. You're good. Surprised you lasted as long as you did. <sighs> oh, it was suffocating. <laughs> it was absolutely suffocating. <laughs> totally suffocating. Yeah, it looks a little tight. Uh, okay. Um, I think that, uh, do you want to play Hometown Magna? Oh, you're in for a treat. I mean, if everything sounded same me same so far, Hometown Magnet is something else. I hope, anyway. I mean, I came up with this 
but it doesn't work as a piano solo. It needs to be more of a full band arrangement. We came as close as we could with a piano and a guitar. So here it goes. What I hope will be something amazing, I hope. Oh, before I start playing. Yes. Hometown Magna is is about Magna. Magna was known by many names. It started when the Pioneers got here. They wanted to mine, but Brigham Young was kind of like, you mine mine? We need food. Tell me if you want to eat that stuff. But eventually, Magna did get settled for the sake of mining, and Kennecott owns most of the property. But Magna is well known for its sense of community, though it's, it's a very old place, but it's very it's got a lot of senior citizens, and we love them. It's got a sense of community. You don't get bullied at Cypress High School in Magna. Well, you do, but there isn't as much of it. I mean, you tri I've tripped over the stairs, and no one just walks by and laughs. People actually showed me the office to get Band-Aids. Mi missionaries call this place Miracle Magna because they get a lot of converts and because of its sense of community. Magna is just a little town west of Salt Lake City, if you can imagine. It's west of West Valley City. So, I wrote this. I meant for this to be about Ma Magna, but this is only instrumental so far. But this is, but it was known as Ragtown for a while, and this is sort of the feeling I'm going for. But there was a time it was even known for the fun stuff. Everyone went in here for fun, and then it got poor again. I shouldn't say poor, but Magna's developing, developing, and a new Cypress High School is being built. Well, here's it goes the song. <laughs>
Oh, it's awesome. That's I think that's my favorite song of yours, Russell. Oh, thank you. I really like that one a lot. Hometown Magna. I don't think it needs words. I don't think so. I, yeah, I really Maybe love it. Maybe it doesn't. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, do you wanna do you wanna play another piano solo? For Glad us? to. Okay. This one. Uh, this, is, uh, this was actually. So I spent some time at Post High. After, long story short, I was short on credits and I have high functioning autism. But rather than staying another super senior year at Cypress High School and not get to graduate with the rest of my class, you know, it's eventually time to move on. I went to a post high program and they call it good enough. You went, went through the job training program, went through an IEP, which is an individualized education program, and worked toward getting a job and all that. I expected I was only going to be there a year. The maximum is four years, three and a half it turned into. I thought I'd only be there a year, and more time was deemed useful until I couldn't be there anymore. But I, but I didn't. What happened? What I did walk with my graduating class, and when I graduated in 2012 from Cyprus, but what they saw me, what they didn't know, what people watching did not know, is that I didn't wasn't grabbing my diploma. I was grabbing a certificate of completion that was verify that I would get my diploma later at post high, and I did. And this was my graduation song that I came up, it's called High Expectations, and that was a graduation theme. And this is just a piano solo. I may not have everything exactly right from memory, but I'll re do the best I can with it. Uh, I may be doing, I haven't decided whether I'm gonna keep the tie on, but I probably will. <laughs>
definitely something I wanted to do or Pompeii and Circumstance, you know. Well, I'm just kidding about that, but I wanted to outdo Pompeii and Circumstance. You know, when the volcano erupted and we're peacefully graduating from high school. I wanted to outdo that. After all, it was a it was a more low-key graduation. After, after all, I was about... I was 22 years old. I was 22 at the time I graduated. <laughs> like, as in, well, I had my social graduation already, technically, so I had already graduated, but I didn't graduate from post high. And I'm, and I got some college in since then, but in time I'll be back into that. I'm looking to get a job as a teacher's aide at Elk Run Elementary. But their school definitely leaves scars in you. Who disagrees? I've never been there before. <laughs> school will definitely leave some scars in you. There are some bad memories, good memories, some wonderful memories. Oh, school does. I thought you were talking about that particular Oh, no, 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 no. I'm talking about school in general. Uh, Who disagrees that school will leave you with some scars, some wonderful memories, but also some scars? I'm, and a few gray hairs. A few gray hairs. <laughs> Who disagrees? <laughs> I thought so. Nobody. Nobody. Yeah, preach, man. Got it. Oh, I should put my fist <laughs> in the pulpit right now. <laughs> Who disagrees? Yeah. School aging is great hairs. It's good, good memories, but you're ready to be done with it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I feel you. I added the Pompeii circumstance to have effect at the end. Okay, what's your next track, Nick? Um, I think that we should do um, Come Thou Fount. Oh, perfect. And fun thing about this arrangement... This was probably in the middle of the time with Post High one summer. I had recently been set apart as an elder. Sorry about the nose. Post nail drip. I had one elder who was from Hawaii. Well, he had been shot down by the mission president choir director. Not the mission president, the mission president choir director. Because he wanted he wanted to, I don't know, but he was afraid of confronting mission president choir director. But he, he had the potential to have a really, really good voice. But he was afraid of singing and and missionaries sing prelude numbers before like the actual performance like solos but he was afraid to confront it that was what at least i understood and that was what at least was being fed to me well the missionary thought to himself this primary pianist maybe he can make write something and so i arranged this for a hawaiian elder it was a very tender experience that I still remember today. It was in the summer of 2014, if you can believe it. Seven years ago. And I still remember it. I tried out with them after getting those things, work, things worked out. The mission president stopped us. Choir director stopped us like right in the middle. Said, okay, this needs to be a little turned down. So we turned it down. So I felt the feeling of being shot down, but it was accepted. And I, and a tender father-son moment emerged between that missionary and the mission choir director. The one that would follow him would actually be Marshall McDonald himself, funny thing. And he would become important just the very next day in my life. Funny thing, unrelated to Elder Poulet, but it would be related later. Coincidence. Lord of works in mysterious ways. But I wrote this come, arrangement of Come Thou Found, especially for him, and I played it for him on the spot. So I booted the piano player out because the piano the pianist didn't know how this went, you know. Well, I didn't really boot him out. It's just that I was politely tiptoeing and not a little conspicuously saying, excuse me quietly with my body language and I played this for him that was sort of the plan that I'd be the one playing it and it's a memory I won't forget a missionary memory I will never forget and I played and accompanied another Pacific Islander elder I've had a lot of cool experiences with Pacific Islanders for sure that I haven't talked much about but anyway here's a song Nick get ready I'm ready how do you to modify this of mercy never ceasing called for songs of loudest praise teach me some melody 
melodious sonnet Sung by flaming tongues above Praise the mount I'm fixed upon it Mount of thy redeeming I raise my Ebenezer Hither by thy help I come And I hope by thy good pleasure Safely to arrive at home Jesus sought me when a stranger Wandering from the fold of God To grace, how great a debtor daily I'm constrained to be. Let thy goodness, like a fetter, bind my wandering heart to thee. Born to Take and seal it, seal it for thy courts above. Here's my heart, oh, take and seal it, seal it for thy courts above. Awesome arrangement, Russell. Thank you. Awesome arrangement. Isn't Russell a good, a, a spectacular piano player? <laughs> yeah. It sounds so good, man. It sounds so good. I'm breathing again. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, I had to bring this up. Yeah. I had to give it up sometime. <laughs> no, you're good, man. Okay, um, let's do... Uh, our last hymn, and then we'll do Chasing Cars. And Sounds we'll, good. We'll be done. In fact, I'm going to make a change, last minute change to the program. We're not doing all what, go where you want me to go, and I'm going to play this as a piano solo. I'm okay. going to cover Marshall McDonald's Raising Race with my own variations on it. It's all you, man. Yep. Marshall McDonald arranged this. He made it for a painting, but I made some variations on it. It just sounded like, it just reminds me of Red Rocks of Southern Utah and Arizona. And that was very much the impression I felt when I was listening, hearing it in my heart. Well, no more talking. Marshall McDonald, thanks for promoting our concert. This is to flatter you. Because you made such a wonderful arrangement.
and Nick Coulter is laying on the floor on his girlfriend's lap. From where I'm standing, you can't see it, but Nick Coulter is just taking a nap on his girlfriend's lap. Sorry. <laughs> oh. hope I'm, I hope my music was that relaxing. Sorry, I was just giving Nick Quilter a hard time. Oh, you can give Nick Quilter a hard time. Nick Quilter was very comfortable. I'm getting lullabied by your piano playing. And the cat is in here, rowing and rowing at the guests in here. All right. Okay, hold on. What key are we in? A. Right. Oh, that I 
just lay here Would you lie with me and just look at the There you have it, folks. Russell Hathaway, live to you from Magna, Utah, hometown Magna, on Friday night. And that's what we got. Any parting words for everybody, Russell? Yes. Don't suffocate yourself like I did. I'm never doing this again. <laughs> <laughs> Russell, Mike, talking to the microphone. Oh, that's right. Don't <laughs> suffocate yourself like I did. I just wanted to show Mr. Coulter that I was a goody goody. Don't suffocate yourself, folks. Words of wisdom from Russell Hathaway. Let it be, let it be, let it be, let it be.